Not a long time we had don't have very interesting show, very interesting festival. <laughs> The idea came a few years ago. Actually, for me, it was a dream. I even didn't believe in that time that it's possible. Last day before the festival was the hardest one. We didn't finish the stage. We walked all the night. We didn't know how much people is going to come. We had 3,000 tickets and they all were sold. I was very happy that this initiative for such a festival came from a local NGO. Uh, also it was interesting how the whole organization of this festival was conducted. This was discussion. People agreed on something. There was, uh, there was dialogue. We got a lot of different and very important ideas from different people. Some people just they came to the uh, meeting, they give us idea and then they disappeared. But we worked with this idea. This is the greatest thing, I think, to ask everybody to analyze and then make a decision. Actually, the interest was great to promote such a cultural exchange in between Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. We had to select out of the many groups that exist in Kazakhstan and in Kyrgyzstan and uh, we managed to bring them. Of course, they had some uh, adventures on the road. They were delayed. <laughs> but uh, they made it. This, like, ex experiment? Experiment. <laughs> Everything is moving, slowly but moving.
مورد اس فرزندان خود این طبیعت را حفظ نمایید The theme of uh, this year festival was nature and culture pillars of our life. Traditionally, it was our culture to protect the nature. Historically, fewer people lived in the region, but now the population have doubled or even just tripled, but resources remain the same, so we have to do something about it. We have to promote uh, preserving uh, nature through, through our cultural traditions. Any culture can't survive without natural resources. We are showing technologies to reduce the pressure on these natural resources. At the moment, uh, GTZ is demonstrating energy efficiency technologies. Local people, they should feel that this is their natural resources and that they will benefit from this. We have told you must come back to our history to save my culture, my language, my tradition. My name is Munira and I'm from Porog Town. I'm really proud that I'm Pamira and, and you know I really like my culture and you know our national dresses and all of our stuff in Pamir. first time we had a chance really to to get in contact with uh, the broad public. Uh, we had lots of talks also to young people, to children who will be the next generation and I think we will use uh, also our experiences from yesterday for our further work. This festival which was organized I think it's very good for communication of people because Many different people come from different countries and we share our culture and that's very important because we are neighborhood countries, we should know about each other. In the evening we, we had twice more people than in the morning. Six thousand, maybe seven thousand. No accident happened yesterday, and that is something that the organization committee was worried about. And I think that proved that the local people uh, are sort of a good audience for this type of festival. Even if I was really tired yesterday, I feel really some special feeling during the concert, especially in the evening when these thousand people come around. This was the best moment in this event.
hope that it will be a regular festival every year, that uh, there will be links with Afghanistan, there will be links with Uzbekistan, and there will be links with Turkmenistan. So. Yesterday was a great success. Uh, everything was very smoothly and nicely brought together, and I think also for our organization, this was the biggest, uh, let's say, awareness campaign we have ever had. I'm from mountain. I'm mountain people. I will like it here because here my land. Thank you.